Alright everybody, what's the story? Back in Ireland and Irish all over the world. Irish baker abroad, Chris, here in Denmark, originally from Dublin, Kulak, and I'm reaching out to you this time with a, a bit of turnover bread once again. I did this no need version the last time, so now I want to show you how to do the more traditional type, you know, that boot shape. Alright, the way you see it in the bakeries and in the shops, I think it's, it's nice that we get that covered. Right, before we get into things, I just want to thank everybody, everybody back home for uh, supporting the Facebook page and for subscribing to the YouTube channel. You know, it means a lot. I, I'd really like this thing to grow. Um, you know, it's a great buzz for me. It's, it's a bit of crack. And if I can teach somebody something, something that I do, you know, uh, that means a lot. That means the world to me. Uh, but if we could just keep, the, keep it going, keep these numbers up on the Facebook page and on the YouTube channel, you know, let, let, let this thing grow and and see where it takes us, all right? It's a bit of crack, all right? So let's go, here we go again. Here we go again. Uh, Irish turnovers, classic shape, all right? Let's do it. So we're gonna start off with some lukewarm water. Put that in there. Some fresh yeast, using 50 grams this time. There you go. Give it a mix with a fork. We add in our flour. I've added a bit more this time. I want the dough to be a bit more stiff so it keeps that lovely turnover shape. Grant. Some melted butter again. Salt and sugar. Okay, that's all our ingredients. Then you have to get your wooden spoon. The old wooden spoon, yeah? You get a few smacks of that back in the day now if you are bald. And we just want this to come together and then I'm gonna throw it out onto the table and then we're gonna knead it. I was gonna do it in my mixer, but it's a bit too small, so. And not everybody has a mixer anyway, so we'll just, we'll just do it all by hand. We just want this to come together now. Right, that's come together nicely. Bit of flour. Go. Throw it out. It's nice and stiff this time. Now, here's the tough part. We're gonna have to knead this for about 10 to 12 minutes, all right? We wanna develop the gluten quick and we want it to get a bit of strength so I can keep that shape. All right. You just do it like that. I just, just use your two hands, pull it up like that, push it down and turn it. Do the same, up, push it down. And then you just speed it up a bit then. Like that. You can act all mad and hard if you want to do it with one hand. You'll be in bits after 10 minutes though. <laughs> right. right. So now we just have to figure out something to do when we pass the time. Talk a bit. Sing a bit. No, I missed. Your <laughs> old doisy royally. She had taken to the soup. Pure old doisy royally. She will never give it up. Get up. Pure old doisy royally. She will never give it up. Get up. But the heart of the real is doisy royally. Oi. Jesus. Right, this is starting to get a bit of strength now. Strength. We just want to do this till we get a nice smooth elastic dough, okay? Again, just pull it up, push it down. Pull it up, push it down. Like that. So I've been kneading this for about eight minutes by hand. You can see uh, it's still a bit grainy. So you just want to keep kneading that till it gets smooth, all right? Right, that's grand, we've got our dough here. It's nice and smooth now. I'm just gonna split this into three, okay? About 650 grams. Right, let me just shape these round. 
Ik doe ik zo. Pull out the size into the middle like that. Turn it over. And you're just, you just want to pull the top of the dough here. Tighten it up like that. Right? We're going to leave that there for a few minutes. And then we're going to shape them. So, these are the pre-shaped balls of dough. Sorry I had to change my top there. It's getting a bit carried away, you know. Right? It's the same video. <laughs> Give that a stretch. Push it down. I'm gonna take the two sides here and just press down here. Knock the air out. Get the top, roll it in, push down, roll it in, push down, roll it down the side here. So you're rolling it in, pushing down, and again. And then you just want to roll it out. a loaf of bread. Like that. Like that. And we're going to leave these for another 10 minutes. And then we're going to give, that, give it that torn over shape, all right? And that's your pre-shape. Okay. Brilliant, right? So our pre-shape, it's been lying there for about, about 10 minutes. Uh, it's risen a little bit. Now we're going to knock the air out and we're going to give it that final, beautiful, classic torn over shape, all right? See here, I gave it a bit of length. Like that. Stretch it out. I want to turn it around actually. The dry part, so it won't stick to the table. Knock the air out. Like that. Now pull the two ends. We're going to stretch them out and we're going to pull them into the middle here like that, see? And then we're going to knock the air out again. Like that. Get all that air out. And then you just take this piece here and you put it down there like that, see? And then you just poke it like that. And that's it. That's our torn over shape. Right? Right, we'll try that again. Nice and long. Knock the air out. Yeah. Stretch and pull the two ends into the middle like this. Yeah. Get all that air out. Like that. One side. And just put it on there like that. See? And poke it. You've already got that kind of shoe, kind of boot shape. Done. Now I have my greased tin here. I've made it to fit this exactly three loaves going across here. This is 30 centimeters in width and it's uh, I think it's about 12 centimeters in height. Get our torn over like that. See? Put it down. Like that. 
the next one. So yeah. That's it. Oi, this is just a little close up here. That's the pre shaped turnover. I've got a bit of flour on my fingers so I could just poke in there like that. Okay? Get some air in. Seal it. Three, 40 minutes to 50 minutes. But the reason I'm doing this is, is that I want it to stay moist. I want the crust, I don't want it to dry out too much. So our turnovers have risen now for about 45 minutes. That's what they look like. We've doubled in size and they've kept that, that shape we know. We know so well. All right, oven time. There you go. Turnovers, that lovely boot shape. We're gonna throw them into the oven now. 250 degrees. There you go. Now you don't have to do this, you can just do it the way it is, or you can throw in a glass of water to avoid uh, the crust drying out on top, okay? It's gonna give it a bit of stain. It's totally up to yourself, you don't have to do that. I just like it to get a nice caramelization on top and I don't like it too dry. Um, if you want these darker as well, just give them a bit longer at 250 before you turn it down to 220, okay? Yeah. Break it open. Ooh, a stain there. There you go. Right, that's it. Turn over, needed. Turn over, that classic boot shape. There you go. Hope you like that now and you give it a shot. And uh, send your pictures and your videos on to me and I'll stick them up on the page. All right, thanks a million, and I'll see you next time. All the best. See you after.